Well, guys, I got an issue with my bottom, man. Once again, caliber issues. All right, this is our next step. All we gotta do is loosen the oil pan bolt, let half of the oil drain into this bucket so I can still look down into it, see if there's any uh, metal material, and then I'll be able to take the oil pan bolt and put it back in. That way I can have a little bit of oil still in there, and if there is any big material, it'll be at the bottom of the oil pan, like right down here. So, I'm not trying to drain at all because it goes down at a slant and then I'm gonna go ahead and take out all my bolts around the oil pan well you guys I'm so heated right now so heated draining my oil and this is what I found out You guys can see a little bit of metal material that's coming out on top but I don't know if that is just the uh, AMS oil or what it is So once that stops dripping, I'm going to go ahead and put that... Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at this. My magnet broke off my magnetic oil drain plug. There is no magnet left on there. It's inside and it's broken off as if, I don't know, I don't know. Okay, what I gotta do now is take out all the surrounding bolts off the oil pan and drop the oil pan. I have the magnetic, broken magnetic drain plug halfway in and it's, it seems hard to turn and I don't like that, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take these off. <laughs> Alright, now I have all the bolts out of the oil pan. And you can see there's two longer bolts that go up along here into the bottom of the block. So it goes through the ladder and it screws right into the block also right here. So. Like I said, there and there. All right, there's a little oil left in here. Oh, you guys, look at this. Do you guys see that? Oh my God. That isn't the, um, you guys, that isn't the oil pan bolt. It is, but it, that's, that, that. Oh. I really thought it was the oil pan bolt that broke off, like the magnet, but it wasn't just the magnet. This right here, you guys, goes to an ARP something. 
That's all I can tell you. Oh my God, and that wasn't done by me. That was not installed by me. And this is just the block. It's fully assembled. The only thing that isn't on it is the ladder. So that came loose. You can see it says ARP right there on it. Okay, from here on out, disassembling the block. Uh, turbo manifold, coil packs, valve cover, power steering, the alternator. Yeah, pretty much disassemble it. I gotta find out where this ARP came from. Look at that. You guys can see the metal wearing on the collar of the ARP bolt. Uh. I just got off the phone with Howard from Darton East and we were talking about the caliber, the 4B12s. So, you know, the caliber shares pretty much the same shitty motor as the 4B11. Now the 4B11Ts were built a lot more uh, better, let's just say. That's what they do all day on the 4B11Ts which are the Evo 10s. Now we talked, he was saying that most likely this is gonna be a main coming out of the block that hold down the crank and the caps. So with that being said, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and sell the caliber. I know guys, I know you guys don't want me getting rid of the caliber, but it's just not worth my time and or money. There it is, there she sits. Brand new rotors all the way around. All four calipers were rebuilt. You got BC coilovers, BR series. Everything up in the front end has been replaced other than the front subframe and the power steering rack. I have two cats. I have a gutted cat and I have a stock cat. I got two TIPMs. I've done the relay repair, AGP front mount intercooler has a little bit of damage but does not leak. And that's just a small little overview of what's done to the caliber. The motor is fully sleeved by Darton and has an 88 millimeter bore. It also has choice A pistons, refurbished top end. They're the original OEM internals. We have modern performance first gen crank pulley and we have the stock turbo. So if you guys are interested let me know. Alright my camera died but I got the ladder separated from the bottom of the block and to do that there's little grooves right here, here, right there and I think that's it oh right there so there's another one right there so there's four one two three and four but anyways let's go ahead and take the ladder off see what's under here because I have not seen it yet either All right, so I'm just gonna put that ladder right there for a second. So there it is, and my ARP stud is loose. This one's loose. No other ones are loose, so um, cap three back so if you're looking at the crank caps you see one two three four five number three bottom number four top number four top stud is loose and yeah so what I think they did was just backed out I don't know guys. What do you guys think? Leave it in the comments below. I'll update you guys as soon as possible. I gotta, I gotta clean up and I gotta go to the shop. Anything used in this video is in the description below. Until next time guys, be easy and stay tuned 
No bike caliber.